Ideally, a firm's daily cash inflows should be equal to its daily cash outflows. But in real world, this happens rarely, or we can say that it, this happening is almost impossible. Now let's see how a firm's daily cash cycle works. On the screen, we have an hypothetical example that depicts the daily cash cycle management of a typical firm. It starts in the morning when the firm's manager received information from bank's reporting system. And then the cash manager receives again information from the company's own sources. Then this cash manager receives updates from the company's bank on the current day transaction by the firm. Later, during the day, the cash management staff arranges some short-term investments or some loans as necessary through certain external sources. After this, the staff, uh, cash management staff meets certain funds transfer. Then the cash movements for the day are completed or these are scheduled by the related staff so that the firm's cash position can be finalized. Now at the end, ending of the day, certain paperwork is done for the completed transaction and in this way, the running cash worksheet is updated and it completed for the start of the next business day. In cash management, forecasting of short term cash is an important tool that is used by the uh, cash manager of the firm on daily basis. This forecasting allows to practice work, working capital management very much effectively. Now to be an effective forecasting on cash, this forecasting must be very precise. Although a precise forecast, a cash forecast may not be so accurate. Now, while forecasting periodic cash flows, the firm must observe some minimum cash balance, which is a protection for the firm from some unexpected cash needs or it provides a financial flexibility for the firm to take advantages of some attractive investment opportunities. While forecasting cash flows, firm have some typical cash, cash flows. These may be uh, cash inflows and cash outflows. If we talk about cash inflows, now the cash comes from receipts from the operations in the form of cash sales and in the form of collections from the debtors. Then fun funds are coming from related parties of the firm. Then the firm's investments may also get some maturity. So their realization is in the form of cash. Debt proceeds may come from the creditors or the banks or some other financial institutions in the form of short and long term funds. Then there may be some other incomes like interest income or dividend income or some government uh, from government authorities like tax refunds for the firm. Likewise, uh, uh, forecasting of cash flow also involves some cash outflow items like payments made by the firm to suppliers and to employees in the form of payrolls, uh, funds transferred to subsidiaries or some related parties by the firm, investments made by the firm, debt repayments made by the firm in the form of interest repayments repay and repayment of principals. Then likewise we have tax uh, payments by the firm to the tax departments. Uh, now, if we talk about cash forecasting system, then a system effectively structured, this cash forecasting system may be structured for different time horizons like a short period, medium term and long term. While forecasting periodic cash flow, certain aspects are necessary to consider like data frequency relating, uh, relating to the cash flows of the firm, 
format and techniques in the cash flow process, accuracy of the data and reliability of the cash forecast done on the basis of the available data, then the uses of forecast by the related persons and their time needs.